Would it be here? I think so. I think so, baby. Woo oh no. I do not like the sound of that. Welcome back to the episode of Zompierce and today we're at turn boys and girls ladies and gentlemen Hopefully y'all are all having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out We are back aboard our train aka our base We got over here in the back cabins. We still have a few buildings that we have done over there So as y'all might recall, um in the last episode Things have not gone the smoothest, but we are back to roughly the point with which where we died however what i think may or may not have happened is i think i think last episode like something glitched out and or we just completely drove past this town up here so regardless we're here we're we got about the same amount of loot and all that jazz as we had before we progressed to the same point but now we are coming up towards this location and i believe this is going to be the location that we've been looking for this is how we're actually going to be able to refuel our fuel tank. Because if y'all recall, I don't want to spoil exactly how th things went down in the last episode, right? If y'all haven't already, there's actually going to be a playlist that y'all can go check out. Link should be in the description and or tap on that bubble that just popped up in the top right hand corner of the screen. And let's just go ahead and boop, turn off that engine because not only am I a hardcore survivalist, but I am also... The world's greatest train conductor. Okay, we might need to go forward a little, little, little bit more, actually. Because I think this building should be able to let us refuel. Because, like, I'm not going to lie. We're coming low on fuel. And, like, the game's got to give us fuel somehow, right? So, for now, we are coming. Oh, hello, zombie. How are you doing? Yeah, I do need to go and actually uh, either repair and or craft an entirely new baseball bat. Hey, what are you... What's that? Why are you breaking down that door? Okay, well, regardless. Look at that! That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we were looking for. Let's hit the brakes on this because that is the gas pump. Let's freaking go. We'll actually be able to fill this train up. But first, we got quite a few zombies that we do got to worry about. Um, Before we get to worrying about those, though, why don't we grab... I require some fabric. And that should give us enough here to build a baseball bat. And after that, I'm going to be looking to turn it into the modified baseball bat. So it does do a little bit more damage. A new update has come out since our last episode as well. I believe what it did is there's like that long bow over there. So we can actually craft up a bow and stuff too. We got a few pretty cool options we'll be able to explore. But for now, I want to explore this. I don't know 100% like how we can repair that. If we even can repair that. I hear a lot of zombies though, which is very concerning. So, uh, which we call it. Just go ahead and make a little bit of inventory room here and then let's uh well let's start making our way i can't put that away oof bro we got too much stuff in our inventory okay so before we do head out to this adventure i think we got to get a little bit more crafting done we got to go and get ourselves a brand new storage chest here Bloop. because all of this stuff does have weight that we do got to worry about over there in the top left corner y'all can see we got 80 out of 100 health right now so our health situation is looking kind of okay it could be better it could be worse so what i'm gonna do by the way is actually rotate this thing so the cabinets face me Woo! yeah because uh that is something that kind of sort of we didn't do last time but you know what it's it, it's okay that's our iconic outward facing cabinet you know it's truly just a modern marvel of engineering you got her, man. But yeah, y'all, it's definitely good to be back. Woo! Did not mean to fall off already. I don't want the zombies coming after me too hard already. But uh, it is definitely good to be back. Definitely gonna want to be bringing some of those band-aids with us in case things do hit the fan. Let's toss that into there. And we'll put those into there. We got a little bit of food. Honestly, I'll eat up the food. I'll put it away. I'll drink up some water. I'll put that away. Because, listen, that's like five freaking kilograms of water, dude. That is a lot of water, to say the least. So we'll go ahead and put that away into that locker. Put the food away. Bada boom, bada bang. We're good to go. We got a full durability modified baseball bat. We got some guns and hopefully we got some good loot coming our way. And actually, the big thing that I want to get to, there's a gas station at the station and the fuel's running out. I definitely need to refuel. Look at that. Indeed I do. Let's activate the fuel supply. Dude. Now that is epic gamer moment right there. So I got to unequip that here. Y'all can see is actually where we can do the refueling. Uh, boop, I pick that up. Uh, boop, I put that in there and then uh, boop, I activate that. 
And it's not activating. Hello? Is it refueling? I activated the supply. Did I do something right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is this thing filling up? No. Hmm. Well then. I wonder if we gotta go into town and like activate something first. Because this should definitely be working right now, no? I don't know. Maybe I'll like try to take it out, put it back in again. Anyways, ow! Don't hurt me like that! Ow! Bro, I've been yeeting zombies all day. Huh. This thing does have me a little bit stumped. Nighttime is about to be upon us, so we might want to be a little bit careful with that. Uh... I put that in there. Oh, nice! You broke the door, bro! I'm gonna have to call a mechanic for that, and I don't even live here! I'm just that much of a great citizen! Oh my god, back it up. But yeah, it is good to be back in Zompier, so if y'all are excited to see it, so more definitely let me know behind that like button and saying so in that comment section down below. I would absolutely uh, love to hear from y'all, as I always do. But today, 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 nighttime is gonna be here soon. So as soon as it actually becomes nighttime, uh, we're gonna dip. Uh, boop! Let's try and take your face out. But, uh, yeah, there was, like, a new update. We're in update 4.0. We're, like, 4.1 now. I think it didn't really add much content, but I think, do think it, like, optimized the game a little bit. A few things here and there like that. I don't think, like, there's also a long bow that I was talking about, which we are going to be trying to get crafted down the line. No need to sweat or worry about that. But what we do need to worry about is, hello, hello. We're getting our hands on quite a nice haul of stuff. You love to see it. You hate to hear those zombies, though, because we're going to have to deal with all of them, but you love to see the loot that we're swooping on up. All right, let's go and get a few more of these cabinets. Hopefully, we can find some of the other guns as well, because we have pistol ammo, but y'all can see that there's, like, a rifle and stuff in the game, too. You gotta imagine we're going to be finding that at some point here. When exactly, the world may never know. We will have to see. But, uh, obviously, if the ammo's in here, you gotta imagine. What is this, a note? The key to the switchboard room. Hi, Bob. If you need to turn on the power to the gas station, come to my house. I have the key. We're hot digging it down. That explains things. Whoever had this very nice uh, clipboard appears to have the key to actually allowing us to refuel. And wow, it is getting so dark right now. Luckily, there are like light switches that do not work. But luckily, I do have my beautiful train over here, which does actually have lights. Let's go in, uh, put that on. You know, gotta have the nightlight on before we head to bed. And let's go and do that. We'll go to sleep for about 12 hours. That tends to be the sweet spot where the daytime should just about be hitting from what I have seen. Uh, there is also some more crafting that we're gonna have to get done. We obviously have like a lot of resources to tap into and... Hello, game? Oh! Okay, at least it's not the freaking iPhone alarm. That thing still gives me like PTSD, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Every time I hear it, even like someone else's going, it just reminds me of all those finals I've had to wake up for throughout college and high school. <laughs> Not the fun alarm, I tell you what. But, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying, we got a lot of resources and a lot of crafting that we gotta get done. Obviously, I do wanna make our way up to the metal workbench. I think we gotta find some more metal to make that happen. There's also an electric oven in the game now, and I think we do have these two parts, so we should be able to actually make it, which is pretty cool. Obviously, like, all the walls and stuff like that, and I think we will unlock more recipes as we do get up to the metal workbench, but, uh, hockey dokey. Let's put away some of the stuff that we have found so far. Okay, I mean, honestly, I'll use that band-aid right now. That's not even a bad usage of it. Uh, I'll put the way. No, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, diddly dang it. All right, there we go. Now we actually properly did things, but also first things first, let's go ahead and make sure that we tap into this water supply, get a little bit of that water back because we were running a little bit low. And then we will head our way into this town for the very first time, and we will see what this is all about. We have full durability baseball bat, we gotta go to Bob's house on the freaking hill or something like that, because I did see that, like, hill, the house on the hill as I was, like, approaching here. And so, uh, we'll see what that all contains. We got a ton of ammo for our pistol, so if there are some tough zombies, we should be able to tap into those. But also, I didn't loot up the second floor yet, did I? No, I did not. What is this, bathroom over here? We got a zombie taking a poop? No, no poop zombies, bless up. That sounds like a terrifying variant of the zombie variety that I would not want to tussle with, I tell you what. All right, and plenty of a couple of these fridges. One more in here. Not, not one more fridge, but more stuff. We're getting medical supplies, med kits, so that's actually nifty. 
because we are going to continue running into harder and harder zombies. But just bless up. I'm so happy we found this gas station because after the disaster that happened in last episode where we kind of like, you know, took that major L because I don't know if our game just glitched out or like we couldn't find a gas station or like we just loaded into the wrong location, but there was no gas station. I saw some of y'all in that comment section saying that like I drove by this place, which maybe? I, I don't know. I think it was pretty dark when we were doing a lot of our driving, so potentially I did miss out on it. But uh, hey, now we're here. We're making great progress, and where are the zombies? I kind of want to yeet a few of these. Come on, zombies. Will that kill that guy over there? Maybe? Ah! 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 Okay, well, that one zombie's definitely dead, but now there's, like, a lot more coming our way. <laughs> uh, indeedly do. I don't blame him. We made quite the ruckus. Don't mind me. Just got a little bit more boom coming your way. Oh, what is that? That's a different type of zombie. Oh, is that the one that farts or like sends out the like puke missiles? Definitely want to take her out before we get too close. We had our first encounter with that lossy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that spit. Oh, she farted, bro. What did you have for breakfast? It's like a smoke screen. It's a double whammy of fart. Where are you? There you are. No. No. What's it take to take you down, Missy? Stop farting. Come on. Oh my god, how many bullets will she eat? Maybe I should have thrown down that freaking explosive barrel for that lady. We do got one more, but I'm already invested so many bullets into her. She's got to die at some point here. Okay, I definitely missed that one. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, is your face bulletproof? What kind of technology did you install? Oh no. Okay, she may or may not find out that uh, we live here. I do not want that. Okay. So we get a little bit close for comfort. This smelly lady has entered the building. I repeat, Smelly Pants McGee is within the premises. Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. Don't throw it to me. Don't throw it to me. Just die. Whew. Bless up. She ate a lot of bullets. To be fair, I may have been missing a lot of those, but she ate a lot of those too. I'm not going to yeet off that balcony because I don't know how bad fall damage is in this game. Because you can't actually like, jump. You can only slide. So I haven't really gotten into too many fall damage situations, and I I, I want to keep it that way. Things are coming pretty bill house, so I'd rather not uh, throw it all away just to YOLO off a freaking patio or balcony, whatever you want to call that. All right, we got to make our way up to the house on the hill. And then, nice, actually, these cars, we have some really good loot too. Definitely do not want to be forgetting to give them some love. Because y'all saw that those are some of the crafting components we need to craft up. Oh, let's go! A gas canister! Woohoo! Dude, that's actually hype. I had no idea gas canisters were even in the game. I thought we had to, like, manually fuel it up at this gas station. But it looks like there's a few different methods. Oh, baby. We got this guy. Luckily, I'm a pretty stealthy dude now. Oh, no! Okay. I had to talk. Okay. I just gotta slide. What do you start swinging? Boom! Yeah, if you play your cards right, using the slide is the perfect battle tactic. And, like, you will definitely be able to juke some people out. But, yo, now that I know that these cars can actually drop, like, gas themselves, that's going to be big. I don't know if the gas is already filled up or we have to, like, fill it up at the gas station. But regardless, that's big. Because that should be able to give us some more fuel. And as y'all saw, we were definitely running low in that regard. Dude, if I could fill up my freaking thing all the way up to full... That'd be a match made in heaven right there. Come on, Zambis. Do I have any more levels, by the way? No. In this... Uh, oh, we are about to get another level, though. Yeah, I did end up, like, assigning my stats a little bit differently this time around. I've been pretty much going ham and she's not that lady. Not that lady. Into strength. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I've just been going, like, ham and cheese into strength. So we can hopefully do more damage, because I'm pretty sure strength affects damage. Ow. Ow! Did I hit you? There we go. I did hit him a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure strength affects damage, but it also increases our carry capacity. We can also invest into health, stamina, and stealth, but star snipe, stealth, pff, how new are you here? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Those two words do not go together, but they... Hello! Let's just barrel roll that over there. Woohoo! Yeah, she definitely done so after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though, me and Stealth, we are a match made in uh, definitely not heaven. We are, we're not even a match, bro. 
I don't know why I'm using pistol bullets on you. I just feel like it. I got a lot of them. I want to have some fun. But, mm, as much as I do want to just keep on looting up some of these cars and trying to find more gas that way, we know that the key is up on that hill. So we're going to try to make our way up there. I'll try to side skirt some of these zombies. Uh, also, I will use one of these band-aids. Actually, ah, uh, no, I was going to say, I should save the band-aids for when we're in combat because I could instead use these painkillers which slowly regenerate our health instead of like all at once. So that could have been a bit more strategical, but eh, I mean strategical aren't exactly a match made in heaven either. <laughs> Out of all the matching, this is the world's worst matchmaking service. I am not doing too hot, but it's all right. Me and this baseball bat, we're definitely a match made in heaven. Anyways, we want to make sure that we are grabbing all of this loot too. Because even though the main pull of this location is the fact that we'll actually have gas for our train. But let's up. Um, on top of that, I do also love the fact that it's another opportunity to pick up some of this scrap. Which will let us continue building up our little train base back at home. Come on, bro. Smack that head. Smack it. Smack it real good. And we got another crate over here and then... Onwards and upwards we go. Cause it looks like there's one house there. We saw like two houses up on that part of the hill. So I think there's like an entire little town. Oh, we go to the big lot. Do I have any explosive barrels? No, I should have brought one. But uh, that's a okay. I got pistol ammo for days. I don't know if meleeing this guy is gonna be the move because uh, he looks big and angry, and I feel like he could crush my skull with two fingers. And I don't really want that. I like my skull intact. However. The zombie. Hopefully, we can take his skull out. Yeet! Headshot, baby. And sayonara to that dude. And we just got a normal zombie here. Dude, this is like an entire town up on this hill. Are y'all seeing this? Hold up. Let's take him down. We got like another house up there, I think I just saw. Dude, this is a crazy location. Oh my god. This is more hills than like I've seen in my life. I do live in Illinois, though, which is like the flattest place ever, but like still. Actually, I don't know. There's like a lot of flat places. Most of the Midwest. Known for its flatness. Ah, don't hurt me. I'm just trying to yeet. Oh, mama. I yeeted really hard, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, bye. Have fun time. Oh, he stopped dancing, bro. I was impressed with those moves, I got to say. All right, though, let's pop these. And now y'all can see in that upper left-hand corner, we are going to be regenerating health. Uh, our hunger is at 30%. Our water's at, like, 33%. Uh, we're pretty rested because we did, like, sleep through the night. That's another thing you do need to keep an eye on. That little, like, uh, moon symbol with the Zs. Second from the bottom in that top left corner. That is our sleep symbol. Where it, or the amount of rest symbol where it's 76%. So we do need to work on it a little bit. But all right. This is promising location here. And I, I do want to loot up all of these because they're all great chances for us to potentially find better guns. Because we've found all these types of ammos. Like, we know there's a shotgun. We know there's a rifle. So it's a matter of, well, let's find them. I got plenty of ammo for the dang things, but I'd like to shoot them from something. You know? As much as I'd love to, I can't just jam some rifle ammo into my pistol and expect good things to happen. That's how I blow myself up, probably. Oh, hello, Missy. All right, dude, I love the strategy you can incorporate. Utilizing some of these barrels here. Because I do see a pretty tough zombie over that way. So what we're going to do is yeet. Barrel trap, not barrel trap, booby trap with a barrel. This over here. Where did that lady go? Okay, hold on. I'm going to deal with you first. So, ow! It's a 1v1 down the line. There's just like one sweet spot where like if you're just far enough from these zombies, they can't hit you, but you can hit them. That's what I was trying to get to. And all right, let's have this lossy come over this way. Appreciate it. Appreciate the cooperation there. All right, just get a little bit closer there. Let's uh, go ahead and light that thing on fire. And all righty, down she goes. I'm a shocked. I am a shocked that that thing did not blow up. Actually, I'm going to stay away. Me and Barrels also don't have a good history. You know, our two arch nemeses of this series so far have probably been gas. And actually gas, just in different ways. Our main arch nemesis has just been gas. Whether it be inside of our train or inside of a barrel. I just do not do well in these situations, you know? Put, put a wild star around an explosive and what do you expect? There's gonna be a boom. Boop. And give a wild star a little bit of a baseball bat. And what you expect? Some zombie brains are gonna be boshed in. Nice! There we have it, lads! 
the key to the train station switchboard room. I still don't know exactly which room that's referring to, so we're gonna have to find that. But I also do hear zombie, yep, walking up on me. Oh, back it up, bro. He's gonna get hit off on me. Ow. That's right, only one hit. We still got plenty of health. Ooh, we're finding all this money. What is this money good for? Like, are there actually, like, other people we can find in this game and, like, trade with? Because that actually be really cool. And I'd definitely be a fan. Especially if I could buy gas. Because, again, I need some of that. Let's go and find that train station switchboard room. After we do a oh, ho, 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 little bit more looting up here. Because check it out. Food for days, baby. And some medical supplies, some water supplies, some beans. I'm eating beans. Oh, we're going to be eating good today. Because those beans do heal a lot. Like, look at that. Minus 30 hunger. They are, they do weigh a lot, too, but they also heal a lot. And we're finding a lot. We're finding some raw materials, like some titers. Little, little titers here and there. We'll be able to use that for um, uh, the potato recipes. It'll be glorious, I'll tell you. Absolutely spot on. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to stop looting. My hopes are high that we might be able to find a gun in this town. Because back in the first town, that's where we found our pistol. You gotta imagine that the second town might introduce us to our next form of weaponry. Which I would love, by the way, especially when it comes to dealing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He's just asking for it, bro. Like, I'm sorry, but, uh, yikes! Well, that man got obliterated. Did not see where he went to. So we got this house over here to loot up. We got that house over there, and then I think there might be one house across from that house. That looks like a giant warehouse. My hopes are high that maybe that'll be the one with the gun. I thought I saw a zombie there. Just a little bit of a, a quick loop-de-loop. -loop. It does, it's kind of poopy too. Our inventory is starting to fill up. We're at 35 out of 38 pounds. So it is going to be rough if we find anything. But we can still consolidate a little bit of room, bring some band-aids there. Uh, some first aid kits. Because whatever's in our hot bar doesn't actually count towards our carry weight. Fun fact. Ah! Don't spoop me like that. Not cool, zombie bro. Not cool. You are not a bro after that. The just absolute misbehavior. It too. I spit on you. However, these beans. I love them. I will not spit on them. How could one ever do such a heinous act? Right, that bookshop doesn't have anything. Man, it'd be awesome if, like, kind of, like, seven days to die, you could, like, pick up some of these books that give you, like, perks and stuff. Maybe, like, you could read some books and gain some levels or something. I don't know. Because I do love leveling up. Makes us stronger. Ooh. Ammo. That also makes us stronger. Speaking of things that make us stronger. Eight bullets in our pistol rather than one. We got to reload. Our pistol is ooh, significantly out stronger than before. Dang it. Of course, we got caught. Oh, big hit. On that bloody door frame. Dude, I have so much money, especially with the- Oh my god! What do I do with all this money? Man, I wish that's something I could say in real life. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? No. At least- Oh no, I'm dying of dehydration! Definitely gotta drink up some water. Luckily, drinking water is gonna save us some nice inventory room too, because every water bottle is, again, half a kilogram. So we gotta drink up three of those, then we gotta eat up some food. We'll eat up on the beans because they are incredibly heavy. They give us a lot of hunger, but like in terms of bang for your buck, I think the chips are the best because they weigh 0.1 kilograms a chip, but they each get us minus 20 hunger. Like the beans do get us more hunger, but they just weigh so freaking much. The candy bars aren't too bad. Like all in all, I don't know. Oh, leather. I don't even know what leather is used for. Can we craft that? I wonder if we can make leather after we get the better workbench. That might be it. But all right, thank you for your hospitality, house number two. Onwards to house number three. All right, y'all. My hopes are high. There better be- Oh! That is not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for like a gun. Not something that I should be using that gun that I was hoping for on. Hopeception. Luckily, we got a pistol. We got plenty of bolts. Whenever this pistol breaks, though, we're going to be done, though. So even if we just find another pistol, that'd be a huge relief. Maybe once we get that metal workbench crafted, we'll be able to, like, craft guns from scratch. That'd be pretty cool. And definitely another reason that I do want to get to that. But obviously, we got to do a lot of major looting. So it's going to take 20 metal scraps to craft that thing up. I do not have 20 metal scraps, dude. 
<laughs> like I got six in my inventory and then I think we got like five to ten maybe back at the train so like we're still trying to work our way up to that next major workbench and that will kind of like s determine how we play things from there because wood scraps are pretty easy to find but obviously these types of boxes are actually really good to look for too it does appear like this is the last two houses we got to worry about. I got to regain my stamina. Y'all can see in the upper left-hand corner. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Meaning we got a lot of freedom to do a lot of things. So a lot of sliding, a lot of swinging, and a lot of killing. Now we got the, that suspicious looking home over there. You'd be surprised if I'd be like, Star, no way that gun's going to have a house. Dude, and or do that. Let me tell you. All right, last episode or two episodes ago when we actually first discovered our pistol, it was in a actually very similar looking house to this. Bro, how could you ever sit there? I would poop my pants sitting up there. Oh man, can I blow? Oh, do I have a barrel I could throw at this guy? I really, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta free up a little bit of inventory room here. Also, I do have like multiple first aid kits so I could actually save up a little bit even more inventory room. Just kidding, I can't. Okay, hold on. I gotta do a little bit of inventory magic right here. We'll put the scrap away so I can put the first aid kits away. Stack them, put them back in. Grab that, bada boom, bada bang. And we got another inventory room. Now we got that empty slot, which allows me to grab one of these and... Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, what a what a beautiful view. I know, indeed. I, I too would be enjoying this view. Let me just... You want to enjoy it with, uh... Just extra enjoyable. I hear that barrels are very good at helping enjoy things. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, that was worth it. It was worth the two bullets. All right, let's clear out this joint. Oh, no. What, dude? I'm trying to get like... How am I not hitting this man? Literally, how? Is this guy's head not exist? I should be making contact. I'm not hitting him. Okay. I'm gonna have to finish this guy off. He's not... He's not dying. His head is a lie. Alright, well. I guess I'll shoot him in the other one. He died a little bit faster there, Chief. Oh my god. I literally... No wonder I was like, hold up. I'm in that sweet spot. That sweet spot I was talking about earlier. Where like, you can hit the zombie, but they can't hit you. I was in that sweet spot. I don't know what happened, bro. We're gonna be overloaded. Yo! Definitely grabbing that! Woo! You love to see it. All right, well, we definitely gotta make some inventory room for that. I think that goes without saying. That the question is, what do we clear out? Um, well, I'm getting a little bit thirsty too. Maybe just ditch the water bottles, bro. I, I, I just might do that. That might be the move. I mean, I guess I'll drink them first instead, but might need to not stock up on those because, like, shotgun ammo. We do not exactly have a lot of. What? Bro, okay, I'll just use this one band-aid, too. Obviously, we're going to find some more pistol ammo. We could load up on that. And then over here, bless up that shotgun rain ammo, baby. Ho, 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 baby. Without further ado, let's, uh... Take a gorgeous look at this. No worries. We'll be putting it to the test, too. I knew it'd be worth checking this out. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our little friend. The double barrel shotgun rain of Zompiercer. Where is our first test subject for seeing just how dope and or lackluster this thing is? I told you. I don't know what it is. Little wooden log cabins. They are promising. Let's see just how powerful. Does it give us like weapon stats when we look at it? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, that's all right. Who needs weapon stats? We can have real world experience. Shotgun rain, go to head of zombie. And we see what happens. Very natural. Very, very legitimate, I say. All right, zombie. You're test subject number one. Get on up out of here. I wonder if this is going to send him flying, too. I really hope so. Yeah. Yay! What? Literally what? Oh, is this that head glitch where I can't shoot him in the head? Bro, is this a super zombie? Or is this shotgun that bad? He's not dying. Okay, there we go. I wonder if the zombie's heads are just glitched then. Because he actually made a noise when I just yeeted him right in the stomach. 
That was really odd. Oh, here we go. One of the fast ones. Yeah, this will definitely be putting a shotgun right into the test. What up, uh, Quickie McGee? All right, lads. Sorry about that. Um, My hard drive ran out of space that I was recording to, so I had to, uh, well, empty some out. Now then, you may or may not have missed us absolutely obliterating that fella, so please allow me to recreate it. It went something like this. Zombie, run towards me. Zombie, shotgun rain to the face. Hello to you. We got military Magoo over here. Do you like shotguns? Bop! Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> he likes one. He doesn't like the other, though. Can I grab that hat? Why can I not have this hat? You're dead. You should give me that hat. It's only fair. Yeah, I might stop picking up the wood. We got plenty of wood scraps. If I find metal, I'll prioritize that. Let's continue using this thing a little bit. I would probably be saving this thing more often than not for like... Yay! What? There we go. Yeah, I'm probably going to be saving this thing for some tougher zombies. Not just like a normal old loot run here. But we just got it. Got to put that thing to the test. Yo, no, no, no. Do not grab the water. Do not do that. All right. I drank that water up. Um, I cannot eat that candy bar from that screen. So I'll just eat it from here instead. Free up a little bit of that inventory room. That I was talking about. Hopefully something or other drops something or other here. I'm sorry, water. I know you're a very valuable resource. Like, realistically speaking, I need you to live. But, uh, you know, I, I like metal. I'm gonna I'm grab some metal. Ooh, that's a lot of ammo. Ooh, I definitely want that shotgun ammo. But something must go. Dude, that gas canister is massive. I probably should have done something about that, to be completely honest. Um, well, we do have this level. So strength gives us a little bit more carry room now. So, okay, 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 okay. I can consolidate a little bit of room, do a little bit of Van Dangle in here. And we'll boop that over there. We're a little bit on the hungry side. I'll eat up some canned fish. Because those, those things are like 0.2 kilograms of pop too. So they're not exactly not heavy either. Grab all of the ammunitions. And hopefully we have room for this. Let's go. 39 out of 40 kilograms. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of investing in the strength. I do think strength is the move. I still am not sure if it makes you hit harder. Hello. Even more. You spoil me, game. You spoil me. There we go. We fandangled that. Managed to get that pistols into our... Dude, oh my god. Okay. This is getting ridiculous at this point. <laughs> I'll grab that. I'll use the band-aid. Bring us back up to full health. We really just... We're, we have like no inventory room left at this point. Stop giving me so much good loot. Oh my god. Another one. All right. Well, if you insist, I'll use that band-aid. Because it only does give us plus 10 health. It's not like it's the most health in the world, but... Health is health, baby. I'll take it. And uh, nothing in the bathroom, so... I'm gonna make my way back down. Uh, I think the sun might be setting kind of soon, so that is concerning. Because nighttime zombie slaying is a little bit more sketchy. But, uh... Yeah, I'll make my way back home. Whee! Power slide down that. Make our way back down. Did I loot that house up? Oh, yeah, I did. This was the area up on the hill. Hillception, I forgot. I'll let y'all know when we're back at the train station. And let's figure out how to refuel. All right, the sun is really starting to set here. So it's getting to be a little bit suspicious. Just because, like, it's not even like the zombies become stronger at night. They just become so much more obnoxious. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. No. No. How'd you not die from that, dude? I hate shotgunning this guy's obnoxious because he has the most evasive face in the world. I just hit his arm off. There's a lot of zombies coming after me. All right. Oh, no, dude. Nighttime's really about to hit soon. Shotgun. Rain! Shotgun. Rain! Okay. Okay. One more. Shotgun rain. Shotgun rain. Beautiful. I'm glad we could all agree that shotgun rain is the greatest thing to ever happen. Now, holy guacamole. It's getting dark. I might need to sleep through this nighttime first, dude. Because, like... Oh, hello. I can't even grab that. Honestly, I'll worry about potentially looting these things up in a bit. Right now, oh, that's just what I'm talking about, bro. Like, I'm gonna edit this so y'all can hopefully see something, but all I'm seeing on my screen right now is pitch black. Let's, uh, please open up that doorway and woohoo! We are back at home. Bless up. I'm going to bed. Sayonara, see you in half a day. Ah! Oh, 
Dude, I just hate alarm clocks, man. Why do they exist? They're the worst thing ever. I mean, they're pretty, they're, they're, they're good sometimes, but like, you, you know what I mean? Like they, they scare the poop out of me. All right, let's just uh, put away everything that we can into there. Beautiful. And then let's put the other stuff away into here. I'll leave the gas canister with us because I am curious to see how that plays out. We're at 14 metal scrap. Do we not have any metal? Okay, no, actually beautiful. We are barely at 20 metal scrap, so we are going to be able to get some of that brand new crafting done too. Nice. Well, some rifle ammo there, cloth, leather. Oh, these are the shenanigans. Um, I can probably like put the way, I could probably put away like most of our pistol ammo. If we ever need 300 pistol ammo for one loot run, uh, at that point, we're gonna probably need something better than a pistol if we wanna uh, not die. <laughs> so just put a few of those things away and all right, let's go and figure out exactly where this key can be used because uh, things are about to get very, very interesting. Oh, not that lady. That's not what I was hoping to see. That's not what I meant by interesting. I don't want to see her ugly mug. Mainly because her mug farts. She has a- Ooh, another one! Let's go! Love to see the gas canisters. Yeah, here she has a very, like, farty mug. Yeet! No, 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 no! Okay, beautiful! Dude, the shotgun might be the go-to freaking fart slayer. It might be. That's nice. There we go. And those are some of those parts I was looking for. Definitely a little bit more rare to come across. Uh, we could probably continue looting up a few of these cars, but I've already lost track which ones we have looted. Oh, nice leather. And which ones we haven't. As much as I'd love to stick here and literally just open up every car trunk in the history of car trunks, I want to get some gas in this train because we literally need that to keep playing. Because if our train runs out of gas, uh, how does one say GG no re? Oh, yeah, yeah, GG no re. All right, it's not gonna end well. So, I need to go somewhere first. There's like a switchboard room, or that that's what they were saying. Where is this room? Could it be here? No, just a doorway. <laughs> Could it be here? I think so. I think so, baby! Oh no! I do not like the sound of that! Who called the police? No, 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 no! Okay, let's uh activate that thing. Let's go! We got gas, baby! Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I need to uh How do we turn that off? That's obnoxious as can be. How do I get back up on my train? Did I get locked out of my train? I don't know. Oh yeah, we got zombies coming our way. Luckily, eh, I've been using plenty of shotgun rain. Let's butt some heads. Oh my God, dude. That was not the sound effect I was looking for though. Literally just summoning the zombie hordes to sick us. Nothing nice. Ow. There you go. That's what I was talking about. The, like perfect distance where they try to swing at you. You're barely backing up at the right pace, but you can still swing at them. Oh, do we got some like faster looking zombies coming our way? How do we get out of here? Like there's like all these zombies are coming in this way as much as I'd love to stay in chat y'all Uh, your boys gotta go. Oh, no, 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 no. All right farty McGee. No Yes, beautiful shotgun raid. I love you Getting me out of all these situations Couldn't ask for nothing more Oh my god, dude, so many zombies. <laughs> Even if I could just move my train up a little bit. Because, like, the problem is... I just, like... I don't know how I did this in the first... Actually, I don't think I can... Mm. If we're filling up... Yeah, before that, like... That used to be open. Why is this closed now? We got locked out. Oh, hello. I'm getting glitched now. Bro. Are you serious right now? Oh. Oh, thank god. Whew. That was a savior. How are we looking at our gas here? Almost filled. We're going to be able to siphon up quite a lot, if not all of this. We got a bunch of disappointed zombies that are trying to get to us, but good luck. You ain't getting to us. And we got all that gas over there that we get to siphon up. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully these zombies don't somehow break through and find a way on top of our train. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is a way. But, uh... Things are looking pretty millhouse. 
I do gotta say, I hear things getting broken into. What is that noise? Oh my god! Yeah, y'all. We're causing quite the ruckus! Oh my god. You better not fart. I'm gonna be able to smell that from here, lady. Bro. I don't like the way things are going. Can I get them to, like, come back around this way? Not just be, like, hoarding around inside? How's our gas looking? We got another, like, 600 gas to go, then hopefully we can drive off. Oh! And with that, I think, oh my god, there's a lot of zombies down here. But I think we're completely gassed out. Please tell me we can drive. Woohoo! Well, all right, I'm, uh, I'm taking the gas thing with me. All right, and it's gone. Let's go. Dude, if I had to be civilized and, like, put that thing away, we'd be in trouble. But, yo, we're in the opposite of trouble right now. We are looking good. Almost 4,000 fuel inside of our train gas tank. We're going to be able to drive for a hot minute. We did find a few of these gas canisters over here, which I assume we can kind of empty out as well. I don't know how they work. Do I have to, like, put them in my inventory maybe? And then, yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to get to the bottom of exactly how the gas canisters work. But they're canisters of gas. I imagine they're used for gas. But with that, quite the crazy location. And we got quite a lot of stuff on our plate. We obviously still got some major base building to do out back over here. Maybe some more inventory room, but obviously we have enough scrap now to actually move up to the next type of metal workbench I do want to get this longbow crafted to have a, a non-gun ranged weapon actually and Oh, there she is the gas station. Oh So I think I know we're I think we got to the bottom of exactly what happened last time Pretty much it was pitch dark and we ended up driving past that location so it's not like the location spawned out of order or something. But literally, it was just so dark and we made the mistake of trying to drive in the dark that we missed that location back there, which is where you're supposed to get your gas. And that's why we kind of uh, had a rough time. But the roughness is over. We do have this location we got to loot up. A few uh, people are waiting to provide some hospitality and uh, some more adventures to go. But with that said, with that done, that's going to go to Sarbring and end to this episode. A very successful episode, may I say, of Zompiercer. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. Hi, this is an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.